How many times a week should I train with a personal trainer? Well, that question all comes down to your goal, I believe your budget, and your motivational level, okay? And why am I saying that? It's because if you're, th if you're looking at the goal you want to achieve, you need to stop and ask yourself, who am I, what are the values that I bring to the table, and what are my weaknesses? For example, someone wanting to hire a personal trainer may think they only want them once or maybe twice a week, when in reality, they got no motivation, they have no energy, they've never worked out, they're 40, 50 years old, they got a family, they got a business, they're juggling all these things. And they really want to get this result of losing 20, 30 pounds because their doctor has told them now, you got high blood pressure, high blood glucose, abdominal obesity, you have all these areas of concern. Yet the person's mind says, I only want to go twice because I don't think I need enough. But if you do the math, two divided by seven days in a week is 29%. Three divided by seven days a week is 42%. Well, let me give you four divided by seven. That's going to give you 57%. That's right. So the reason why I'm telling you this is because it's not just about how often you're training with the coach. It's about what are they giving you on the off days. So if you're looking at hiring a coach and you're doing your, your research, look at different companies, check out our company, and see for the value you'll be getting. If you only go once a week in our company, we make sure that you have deliverables for the off days. Now, you may only be training once a week because maybe it's a financial constraint. Maybe you've got young kids, your, your business is brand new, maybe you're traveling, maybe you're a single parent, so you can only afford one time a week. But with clubs like ours that have a semi-training, semi-private training program, with one day a week of private training, you get unlimited semi-private coaching classes. Or if you're doing online coaching, you'll have seven days a week access to a coach and to a nutritionist. So when you're looking at how often should you train with a coach, always look back to A, what is your goal? And B, how much help do I need? If you can only afford one day with a coach, you need to be strong enough to tell that coach, I can only do one day a week, but I need help on the off days. Can you follow up with me on Sundays? When is my next check-in? What do you expect from me from now till seven days? What would you expect me to give you to get amazing results and to get average results? Now you can kind of fish through and find out what the coach expects from you as well. Because it's got to go two ways. The coach has an expectation and the client paying the money has an expectation as well. So the more the better, but if you can't go as often, ask the coach to give you a list of expectations that you can supersede.